We're at the Omni Resort Barton Creek. You will not believe how they heat their water here. Let's go check out the mechanical room. Today I'm talking to Aaron at the Omni Barton Creek Resort here outside of Austin, Texas. Man, this place is beautiful. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of the Barton Creek Resort? Yes, we've uh, been here since 1985, uh, when it was originally established. We've got uh, 493 guest rooms, uh, four championship golf courses. We're located about 20 minutes outside of Austin. We have eight, eight dining and entertainment outlets on property, which is requiring a lot of hot water out here. So what problems were you going through? Why did you end up replacing boilers with tankless water heaters? Uh, yeah, one of the reasons we changed out was, uh, one, we we're looking for the better efficiencies, the reliability, and then going with the tankless option. You'd be able to not have to heat water up and then cool it back down going into our guest rooms was a, was a big sell point. Uh, previously, we were using a higher temp system and cooling the water to our guest rooms was just counterproductive in my mind. I love that. You're talking about going from a boiler system and heating water and letting it cool down, heating it, letting it cool down. You've got a storage tank over here you're not even using. You don't store hot water which makes your efficiency level go way up, is that correct? It's absolutely correct. And that's one of the good things about the Renai is no matter what level or demand of water is, it's on demand. You know, we can go down from where we're just turning the return water coming back on an off-use basis, or when we get into the higher demands, then these modulate up and work on having different engines fire to be able to handle the load. So, so what did you replace that was here? So previously we had some old Raypack draft type boilers, uh, about 820,000 BTUs per unit. Uh, and this room was going into a tank where we were heating the water over 140 degrees, then it came out of the tank mixed and went into the system at the 120 to your guest rooms, which is really inefficient. Now, I like that you say it came out of the tank mixed, so you take water that you've superheated, add cold water to it to cool it back down to get it to the rooms. But you don't do that with tankless water heaters, do you? No, with these tankless water heaters, they're on demand. Well, we have the set point, we set them, and they, they run to that set point. So they're, they're very efficient. They'll modulate themselves up and down. They'll bring on more engines as needed, and they'll handle the load based on that. They all talk to each other. So it, it's a very good system in, in that it whatever it's producing is being used. Now, I like what you talked about modulating temperatures, but how much fluctuation do you actually get in the temperature coming out of this? So we monitor these with a, with a monitored sensors and we never get more than two degrees off of these in a differential. It doesn't matter if we're in a load period or a non-load period, it ramps up and it handles that load and never sways more than two degrees. The company that installed these, now I'm from Texas and we don't install a lot of tankless water heaters in commercial facilities, in boiler rooms, in central utility plants like this. How hard was it for the company to come in and install these? Because this is something we don't do a lot of in Texas. Yeah, it was actually very easy. Working with Renai and their engineering teams, we were able to do some worksheets, give them the fixture units, tell them what we're servicing. Their engineering then took that, calculated the load needs, and then basically sent these things out. As you see them on these racks, singular, they're very easy to install. It literally comes through the door like this in whatever configuration you're looking for. Now, one thing you mentioned too, Renai pretty much designed this entire thing for you. You just had to give them the information based on your needs and demands, correct? Correct, yeah, they have a very good engineering team. they would be able to take that and they actually guarantee that once they've designed it per the information provided, if that's accurate, that they'll guarantee that it'll work or they'll make it work. Okay, and how long has this system been out? I've had this system here for about four years. And how many problems have you had with it in four years? I've had zero problems. Matter of fact, we actually purchased what you call a Sensei kit, which has every piece of uh, components that go inside of these units, uh, minus the heat exchanger, and I haven't opened it yet. It's still sitting on the shelf with dust on it. <laughs> okay, not that. <laughs> See, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. Yeah. I like that. Okay, so you were involved with the design of this system, meaning you get to help choose, do we put in more boilers? You thought you were going with a boiler because you got a tank, but you ended up going with Renai. What made you shift your mindset from going a traditional boiler system to something that I'm sure is saving you a lot of money? Yeah, part of it was just looking to move to the new technology, right? You know, a lot of these old draft type boilers, you know, they've gotten into the high deltas. There's lots of boilers out there, but we were looking to get into something more efficient, go into the tankless world. In this case, Renai was the right choice for us. It was something that we can do through the doors that we currently had. We were able to put it in. They literally engineered it, gave us the drawings. We worked with the contractor to put it in and literally rolled them in the door and connected them as you can see they are here today. During the installation, were there any problems that, that the installation crew had or that you had along the way? 
I wouldn't say we had any problems. We did have some challenges being that it was our first install. As you can see, there is, it's easy to install. It's just a bunch of connections and pipes. I mean, it's really that simple. So after putting this in, you've actually recommended this for other locations. What is it about this system that makes you just feel 100% comfortable knowing this is the right thing for you? Putting it in, actually performance testing it, being able to see what it was capable of doing and how well it's performed. We've actually recommended it into a lot of our other properties. We've done it in a few of our other properties and continue to grow it. I mean, the warranty, the price point, the reliability, it's all something that were considerations and why we've moved forward with this product in multiple properties. So when you were looking at this in the beginning, what else were you looking at? What did you compare the Renault system to? So initially we had compared it to like the Watts Airco systems, but their price points were very high, they're, they're, they're very big, and you're kind of putting a lot of eggs in one basket, whereas with the Renai systems, you have the modularity. As you can see, we have 10 engines here. You know, at peak, I've only ever ran seven of them that we were performance tested. So it's been great to be able to know that we have that redundancy built into the system, and, and it helps to where if we have any issues, then we can always take one offline, we can continue to operate. It's very simple to change one back out. So therefore, you just have that security that you know you're gonna be able to perform. And what happened when an old boiler went down? Do you have that versatility? No, you don't. You don't. Yeah, I mean, but previously this room had two. It had one that was a primary with backup if needed, but it's really a redundant system. But, you know, with some of these older equipment, you have those failures and then parts are, are harder to get. With the Renai system, I have them sitting on my shelf. So it's been something that's been really nice to have. So if you had to go back and do it all again, would you do the same system? Absolutely. Matter of fact, I have installed another one in another part of my building. Okay, so after installing this one, how long later did you install another system and what does it do for you? I was probably a couple years. We had just come out of construction when doing this. COVID came around, we, we closed down for a period, so it, it wasn't actual time, but it, you know, it's been a couple years. And then we installed this in another one of our buildings where we're doing similar, but we're doing guest rooms over there. We also have an heat exchanger for a pool that we're using this hot water to be able to heat our indoor pool. And then we have uh, our, our full service fitness center that is also doing all the showers and stuff in the full service fitness center. So this pretty much between these systems, they can heat every bit of water you need on the property. They could, they can. This is no different than what you would put in as a residential unit. You may use a single unit in that case. Here with our load commercially, we obviously have a larger bank of it. So it's no different one engine at your house or 10 engines here in my site. They still do the same thing and perform the same. Aaron, thank you today. This has been fantastic. Guys, remember, this video is sponsored by Renai. We teamed up with Renai because of not just what they do for plumbers and the communities we're in, but what they do for commercial and industrial and everything else. This helps us take care of our customers, no matter how big or small they are. We're at the Omni Resort Barton Creek. We're at the Omni Creek we're at the Omni Resort Barton Creek. Let's go check out the mechanical room.